On Health Deck Today, we take you to Cairo, Egypt, where the power of cloud-based solutions is solving intractable infrastructure problems and saving lives. Overall, the ambulance managed to reduce the response time from over an hour to less than eight minutes. That story is next. SoftTech International is a global company specializing in defining system processes. They also develop software that helps manage those complex systems. SoftTech's Altair Fleet Management System is one such cloud solution, which provides fleet management as well as customer relationship management software bundled with a GPS tracker. Altair is being used by the Egyptian Ambulance Organization to streamline and track daily operations. It's my pleasure to welcome to Health Tech today, Nur Shawi, co-founder of SoftTech International. Newer, welcome to Health Tech Today. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure. So there's this wonderful story that you shared about being invited by the ministry to go to the Egyptian ambulance service and you walk through the door and what do you see? Well, I imagine that there might have been some problems in managing the processes. I actually walked in and looked at the huge pile of paper. Uh, and I'm talking, you know, real physical paper um, where the dispatchers, they all write down uh, the, the, the current uh, operational statuses, meaning that whenever a call comes in, they write down where the location is, they give a call to the driver, and then they keep following up by radio on where they are, uh, when they reach the location, when they went to the hospital, when they came back to service. You can imagine if we have 4,000 calls per day, a huge amount of uh, paper piling up, and this was moved back to the, to the data entry room on a daily basis, and uh, you can see a number of uh, very depressed data entry people sitting just typing down all this information into Excel sheets. And then they use these Excel sheets to generate KPIs and a uh, number of uh, statistics about uh, um, the overall demographics where accidents took place, uh, what the response time was of the, of, of, of the emergency service. And you can imagine the huge amount of, um, of human error and inefficiency taking place with this process. Well, not only does that sound like chaos in the operations center, but what kind of effect did that have on the response time? It was very difficult for management to make decisions on where to allocate the fleet. I mean, where to strategically position vehicles where accidents are more likely to take place because the information simply wasn't there or wasn't accurate enough. So out of this chaos, you came forward with a solution based on some Microsoft technology. Tell me about what you did. Did we have a ready-made fleet management product. This is made using Microsoft technology. And this is a product that it's called Altair. And what it does is it manages the entire end-to-end -end vehicle operations. It manages fleet schedules. It manages all the maintenance activities and the preventive maintenance. It manages tires and spare parts. And it has a GPS tracking module where you can actually track the vehicle, the, their locations, position, speeds, uh, fuel level, and get back to the driving behavior of the vehicle. We decided to take the solution and customize it and implement it specifically for emergency operations, link it with other systems in place, like the call center system, in order to have a very smooth process starting from the second the call comes in until the vehicle actually reaches the accident location. And what kind of impact, once this was implemented and people were using it, what kind of impact did it have on service levels? Overall, the ambulances managed to reduce the response time from over an hour to less than eight minutes as an average. And this is a very impressive statistic. When you talk to the Minister of Health and, or people in the Ambulance Operations Center, what are they saying about the solution? The Ministry of Health has uh, more money to spend on, on, uh, on other things like healthcare than before. I mean, even if you, if you reduce just a little bit the amount of, of cost on, on maintenance, on asset management, on, on uh, HR allocations, you can do a lot of good things with that money. And finally, for you personally, looking back at the work that you've done, the lives that are being saved, you must feel very good about this. What are you most proud of as you look back at the work you've done with the Egyptian Ambulance Organization? I mean, absolutely. I mean, uh, even, even the team that worked on the project, the entire team, they always looked at this project as more of a, a humanitarian kind of project. Working on something that 
makes you feel that you're going to save lives, improve safety and security, improve response times for accidents and critical situations. That has made actually a big boost to the motivation of everyone who's been involved with this project. Well, Noor Shawi, thank you so much for joining us. Clearly, your solution is having an impact on lives in Egypt and I suspect elsewhere around the world. Congratulations on your good work and thanks for being such a great Microsoft partner. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Health Tech Today. I'd love to hear your feedback, so please join me on my health blog and send me a comment about what you've just watched. And tune in regularly for more stories on Health Tech Today. For more thoughts, comments, news, and reflections on healthcare IT, join Dr. Bill Krauss on Health Blog.